Welcome to Destiny Worship Center where you matter. To everyone joining us in person this morning, welcome back. We are so excited to have you in worship this morning. To everyone joining us um, virtually, uh, continue thanks to everyone worshiping with us online. Take a moment to share our page with your family and friends. And also, if you have any prayer requests, let us know in the comments. Or you may bring, um, go to DWC, I'm sorry, DWCCC.org and select resources to send a private prayer request to our prayer, prayer team. If you would like to partner with Destiny financially as we continue to do kingdom work, you may do so in the following ways. One, through Give or Cry, Destiny Worship Center in Lancaster, Texas. Or two, through Cash App, which is dollar sign, Destiny, WCC, the number two. Three, the website, dwccc.org. Select DWC Online Giving. Or four, you can drop it off at our location here on Sundays from 11 a.m. to 1230. Okay? Remember that the face mask and social distancing are required during the entire service, and there are hand, san hand sanitizer locations available, okay? Um, individual communion packs will be given, okay? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day that was given to us, Lord. We pray that you will continue to be with us, and we ask that we will hear a word that will uh, saturate our hearts and our minds and that we may continue to do your will, Lord. We ask that uh, you bless the pastor and the message, Lord, and we continue to just give you praise. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. Lord, we just ask that you would... Um, is it time for the worship team? Okay.
Because of you. 
it says, and Hannah vowed the vow and said, O oh Lord of hosts, if you will indeed look on my afflictions and remember me, and forget not your handmaid, but will give me a man child, then I will give him back to you all the days of his life. And no razor will come on his head. And, and I just want to use it as a subject on uh, this morning. Um, am I asking too much? <laughs> Come on, put it in the air and say, am I asking too much? Come on, Come on throw your hand back and say, am I asking? God, am I asking? Am I asking too much? God, I just want somebody to love me for me. Am I asking? Too much. I I just want a career that pays me what I'm worth. Am I asking? I just want this underlying medical condition to go away. Am I asking? I just want to be respected at home like I am at work. Am I asking? I just want to be the best version of me, but I keep getting away. Am I asking? I just want there to be racial equity for all people. Am I asking? I, I just don't want the government telling me what I can do with my body. Am I asking? I, I, I just want this nation to be a nation under God all the time, not just when there's a crisis. Am I asking? <laughs> Am I asking too much? In this narrative, we see a woman um, who, who is making an ask. Hannah has gone into the temple by herself and prayed to the point that the priest Eli thought she was drunk. The, the Bible says her, her lips were moving, but, but no words were coming out. Now, now, now understand this, Jewish women were adept at praise and worship. God was born somewhere. They, they knew the seven types of praise. Yada, to lift holy hands. To Leah, to sing melodious in their hearts. Barak, to praise while kneeling down. Halal, to celebrate loudly in song. Toda, to extend your hand in agreement with God. Some more to sing in unison with instruments. Shabbat to, to shout a voice of triumph. They, they knew praise and worship. But Hannah took praise to a whole nother level, God. Because Hannah confused everybody, including the priests. Because she went into an undefined praise, God. They, they what kind of praise is Hannah doing? It ain't Toledo. It ain't Halal. It's not Jada. It's not Barak. It's not Samar. It's not Shema. What, what kind of praise is Hannah doing? She's moving her lips, but there ain't no one. Oh, God. And the 
said, um, uh, excuse me, um, excuse me, Mr. Priest Eli, um, uh, I'm not drunk. <laughs> now, I might be desperate, <laughs> I might be disgusted, I might be disillusioned, I might even be depressed, but I ain't drunk, God. But, but, but here's your show. Heaven said, in spite of all that might be wrong with me, here it is, I'm still a worshiper, God.
in being married. There's, 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 the enemy didn't want you to, to know this, but there's a blessing in, in being married. I, I, I would like to submit for your regurgitation and cons, uh, consumption that barrenness produces a supernatural hunger. Jesus said in Matthew, uh, blessed are they, what you do, huh? y'all better walk with me, and first at the righteousness, for they shall be filled. I said, there's a, God, <laughs> barrenness produces a supernatural hunger for God that mediocre people never experience. Oh, yeah. People who always look warm, people, people who always indifferent, people, people who always just want to get in where they can fit in, will never experience what I'm talking about. Hunger is for the uneasiness, the discomfort, the pain that is caused by a prolonged lack yeah. of a certain thing. A prolonged yeah. lack yeah. of a certain thing. I'm giving it to you twice because it sounds so nice. A prolonged yeah. lack of a certain thing. And God told me to tell you, the reason why some are suffering lack in their lives right now is because you ain't hungry enough. No, 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 don't sleep on this. There's a massive difference between being hungry and needy. Yeah. <laughs> we, we got a generation of, of, of needy yeah. uh, individuals. Oh, always want something quick, fast, and in a hurry. Always, always looking for the easy way out. Always looking for a hand. I always want somebody to do something that they can do for themselves. God, God always looking for the hookup. <laughs> Extraordinary hero, there was always a 
this song. I was doing my research and um, I saw something. Brother Johnson, I saw something totally bothering me. Um, in, in fact, um, kind of changed my whole thought process. Um, I, I saw that the impetus for Elkanah, Hannah's husband, and Hannah, the, the, their, their, their ultimate impetus was that they wanted a baby. Right. <laughs> the, the only thing they wanted was a family. Right. In their praying, the only thing they were praying for was for a family. Yeah. But, but here's the tension in the text, Carl. While the only thing they wanted was a family, God wanted a nation. Yeah. <laughs> and until they were mature enough to birth a nation, He told me to tell somebody, you're not asking too much. You're thinking too small. You just want a job. God wants to give you a career. You just want to serve. God wants to give you a ministry. You just want to pay a bill. God wants you to pay somebody's mortgage. You're thinking too small. There's a nation inside of you. My grandson uh, kept coming over to my house. Uh, kept coming over to the house, Quisha. And CJ kept saying, uh, Papu, uh, I want a basketball roll. He just kept coming over. Mm. Day after day. <laughs> week after week. <laughs> asking. For a basketball ball. Um, but I could tell he wasn't ready for what I wanted to give him because by looking him in the eyes, I could tell he wasn't hungry enough yet. But then one day, he comes to the house. Had a headband on. <laughs> Had a sleeve. <laughs> Had his whole uniform on. And say, Papu, I need a basketball goal. <laughs> the next time he came, y'all need to get this. He goes in the back. There was not just a basketball goal. Right. There was a whole court. Right, right. There was a three-point line. <laughs> there was a free throw line. Oh, there was a big old W at the end of it to say this is your court. <laughs> God. There were lights so he could shoot at night. God, y'all better walk with me. He, here it is. He was asking for a basketball goal, but I wanted to bless him with a court. <laughs> but I couldn't bless him with the court until he could handle more than a goal. <laughs> okay, okay. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> Let me get up here, y'all. It's not that you're asking too much. Want to put out a single? Mm -hmm. What? 
is temporary. All this other stuff will fade away. All this other stuff will crumble. All, all this other stuff will break. All, 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 all this other stuff. There, there's no loyalty with this other stuff. I need God. And, and today, today is my day. If you're at home in, in person, today is my day. As you stand on your feet, today is my day. Today is the day I'm going to give my life to Christ. Today is the day I'm going to stop thinking too small. And we're going to do this um, safely. There's enough room up here. If you're in the building and you say, you know what? I want the God who won't just give me a court, or who just won't give me a goal, he'll give me the whole court. <laughs> I want the God who, who won't just give me a job, he'll give me a career. I want, I want the, the God who won't just heal me, he'll make me whole. If you hear it, you say, you know what, I don't know if Jesus was to come back right now, if I would go to heaven or hell, but, but I want to seal the deal. I want to make sure. I don't want to leave nothing for granted. I don't want to leave no guesswork. I don't want to have no maybes. I don't want no sleepless nights about it. I want to know that he is my Lord and my Savior. If that is you and you're in the house, you can come around the side. There's enough room for you to social distance. If you're at home, you can put in the chat, I need God. Thank you. 
that whether you can see him or not, that was praying for you and standing for you and fasting for you and learning Zoom for you just so that we could get to this point. I would be remiss if we didn't take this, even, even in this, we would be remiss if we didn't take time just to get honor to the steps of this time. For having doors to come back to. Everybody didn't have doors to come back to. So for your heart and for how you serve and how you lead and how you yeah. sacrifice, know that we see you, know that we honor you, yeah. and know that we love you. today that I appreciate my pastor for being uh, safe and not sorry because he has a heart for the people and he wants to protect his his congregation and I appreciate him for that and like PJ said I'm sorry Mr. PJ I mean you have ministers out there that really I'm not going to say but we have a, a, a pastor that loves his congregation and we leave it at that and I appreciate you, Pastor. Also, I just want to add, if you live in the city and do not have a church home, I'm asking that you come by and visit Destiny Worship Center. You will love it here. We love our pastor. Continue to pray for him and his family. Because when he's good and his family's good, then he has time to spread love with us. Okay? So, also, don't forget to share our page. Please partner with us financially. And always remember to reach out in love, restore with compassion, recover with authority, and rejoice with thanksgiving. Amen. Until next week, have a blessed week. Amen.